Welcome to the Eric Camadeca Show. I'm Joe Wombo, joined now with Eric Camadeca, head coach of the track and field teams. And, Coach, you guys go up to the MAC meet and have a very impressive showing, finishing third on both sides. Talk a little bit about how the weekend went for you guys. Uh, so the weather was awful the entire weekend for the most part, but I'm really, really happy with both teams finishing in third place, especially with both teams having almost the same exact score. It really shows the depth and the balance of our men's and women's programs to be very competitive on both mm -hmm. sides. And the dedication just to be able to do the work between meets and keep on working at their craft. Yeah, when we talk about dedication, you know, we're the only program that doesn't have an on-campus facility. And for this team to really, you know, get, get through the year, put in the hard work, stay committed and dedicated to not only themselves, each other, but the coaching staff, you know, their hard work really proved this weekend. And it's certainly paid off for a handful of athletes that have already qualified for the NCAA uh, meet. But you have a number of athletes that are still in the hunt and can solidify their spot at the NCAA. Yeah, we're figuring out the numbers this week, or actually today. Uh, we have 24 people still continuing for some type of postseason running. Um, you know, we have a couple people who are guaranteed spots. Devontae's number two in the country in the 100, number five in the country in the two. And then we have Danica, who's in the top 10, I believe, still in the shot put. And then four by one still is a shot. And we have a couple individuals who ran really well, performed really well this weekend. Uh, Tyler, Bailey, and Matt Riggins have a shot in 100. And that trio of women jumpers, Kim, led the way, finishing second in the long jump with a huge jump in a school record. You guys have experience in Devante, who's just been your rock for the last four years. But you have a lot of youth and uh, more, you know, athletes that you can lean on to be able to get the points that you guys were looking for in the MAC meet and continuing the success of the program. Yeah, you know, it was a great opportunity for us, too, at the end of the meet. We were only up uh, by two points to LVC at the end with the 4x4 four four left, and it just wasn't smart for us to run Devante. And running Devante, you know, we're guaranteed to either win that event or play second. And, you know, I told a group of guys, you know, this is your opportunity to step up, mm -hmm. you know, who's going to carry the torch for the next couple of years. Um, that trio of Colin Horn, Matt Riggins, Idris Idris, and Avery Wood, they really stepped up and uh, took second place and, you know, secured that set, or the third place spot for our team. As you guys look forward in the rest of the schedule, you've touched on it, 24 more athletes trying to compete and solidify their spot to the NCAAs. What is the game plan moving forward for some of the people that are competing and not competing? Uh, you know, it's really trying to follow the weather right now. You know, where is it going to be the warmest for some people to get to some good times? You know, where is it going to be the best facility, best competition? So the next 10 days are going to be a little bit all over the place. We may be going up to Allegheny, down to North Carolina, Swarthmore, ECAC. So, you know, the traveling is going to be a little crazy right now following the Tifers list. So, you know, it's kind of the sit and wait and chase. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck in this chase that you guys have and safe travels with the team that goes to the NCAA tournament. Thank you. Thank you. He's Eric Kamadeka. I'm Joe Wam, and this has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.